this might be the last time you ever see this page on the Morphe website because Morphe announced they are done with Jeffree Star. Hey guys, it's Philly and welcome back to Spill Sudge. Holy, oh my God, you guys. Morphe just came out with a statement that they are dropping Jeffree Star. I, I have to read the statement immediately. So it says they posted on Twitter literally just seconds ago. Today, we've made the decision to cease all commercial activity related to Jeffree Star and affiliated products. We expect this to conclude within coming weeks. As we look to the future, we will continue to share updates on what lies ahead for the Morphe brand. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot even believe this. Like, we knew that they were taking out all of the Shane Dawson stuff and they had been defending Jeffrey. I showed you guys an email where they literally said that Jeffrey was changed and that Shane wasn't and that's why they were keeping Jeffrey in the store and that's why they were getting rid of Shane. I mean, it was literally just a week ago that this statement by t -Sush came out that said, Jeffrey has acknowledged mistakes made in the past and has apologized, taken accountability and worked hard to make amends within the community. So. It's absolutely insane that in just a week's time, they decided that Jeffrey just shouldn't be a part of their brand anymore. So I don't know what this swift action was all about. I don't know if this has to do with something that has gone on behind the scenes that we might hear about later, but this is absolutely crazy. And I don't know when Jeffrey is going to come out and make a statement. This is obviously not a good look at all. And I just, I don't even know. I mean, he's been out with Cole Kerrigan. He's been with Black China. He's been acting like nothing is going on in his life at all. That's what he's making it seem like on other people's social media. He hasn't posted anything himself, even though he has a launch literally today, he has a launch. But oh my gosh, is this why he's been so silent? Because this is kind of embarrassing. I don't, this is so sudden, like nothing has even happened. Like I just, this is, I can't even believe this. There were all these rumors that Jeffrey was actually an investor in Morphe and there was a video where it sounded like he said he invested in Morphe. Yeah, so it's called Morphe Brushes. So it's like a company that I'm invested in. I'm invested in and I have my own brand in the store. Kind of like a Sephora, but like... And Morphe did come out after that and say that they had no affiliation with Jeffree Star being an investor. And aside from that rumor, they were only just partners by selling his makeup in the store and on their website. I wonder if Morphe coming out with this statement will really drive him to come out and say something to his supporters. I mean, literally on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics page, they have been updating it very frequently. We know that Jeffree has been online on Instagram liking other people's posts. But a lot of people that comment under the Jeffree Star Cosmetics makeup page honestly don't seem like they're against Jeffree at all. I mean, some people are asking him to address things on his personal Instagram, but on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics page, people are very quick to dismiss any of the stuff that is going on and they're looking forward to new makeup and all of this stuff. So it's very interesting that Morphe wants to drop them because I still feel like he's profitable for them, but there has to be something going on behind the scenes that they decided that he is not suitable for their brand anymore, which is weird because everything that Jeffrey has done literally has always been public. It's not like the Shane thing where Shane was this goody two shoes, looked great in everyone's eyes and then all of a sudden last month all this stuff comes up about him and people are suddenly super disturbed by Shane. Most of the things that we knew about Jeffrey have always been out. There's always been videos about his past. I mean even Shane has addressed his past and it seems like we've all been pretty aware of what happened in the entire James Charles takedown. So the fact that they are just now deciding to take him off it's kind of random. It's like why didn't you just do this like last year when he was taking down James Charles or like anytime afterwards? I don't know if the contract is up or what, but this is so insane to me and I can't believe that it's actually happening. And I really am curious to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think that Jeffrey is actually going to come out and make a statement about this? Do you think his team is going to make a statement about this? What does this mean for Jeffree Star Cosmetics? I mean, him and Morphe have really truly worked together for literally every everything pretty much. This is, this is big. This is really, really big. We have all seen how him and Morphe have worked together, how they've done all these like events and meet and greets and all of this stuff. I mean, literally they did the entire Shane X Jeffree Star conspiracy palette with them. So the fact that they're not gonna be working together anymore, 
I just want to know what happened behind the scenes. Everyone on Twitter and on the internet is just completely freaking out about this because this is like such a big move. Something that I have seen some people say is that in Tati's video, she mentioned how there were rumors swirling that James Charles was going to be getting his own makeup brand exclusively with Morphe and that was a big reason why Shane and Jeffrey allegedly wanted to take him down because they didn't want his launch of his new brand of makeup to come out right when their conspiracy palette was coming out and that is exactly why drama didn't happen in the first place because they didn't want a competitor to bring any of their sales for the palette down so I can tell you this it's now my opinion that Jeffrey and Shane were both bitterly jealous of James Charles's success. Jeffrey resented that so much of his business was centered around his biggest rival, and Shane did not like that James Charles wanted to make a documentary. Neither of them were happy with standing in his shadow on YouTube anymore. And it's also my opinion that Jeffrey and Shane needed James marginalized and out of the way for their November launch of the Conspiracy Palette along with Shane's merch. I had also been told that James Charles was about to develop an entire cosmetics line with the owners of Morphe. People are wondering, you know, is now the time where James Charles is going to finally come out with this brand with Morphe? And the reason why it was put on pause was because of drama get in. And the reason why it's happening now, or the reason why they're dropping Jeffrey is because they finally want to do it. And I don't know, this whole thing, there's so many things. I like really want to know what you guys think about all the theories and things that could be going on behind the scenes that has to do with the reason why Morphe is dropping Jeffrey because I just don't believe that his past and all of that is a reason why they would have dropped him because they would have done it a long time ago. But I mean, maybe there are a lot of people that are messaging and calling Morphe and asking them to make this move and they finally decided that they were gonna listen to customers. But it is interesting because a lot of people that are interested in buying Jeffrey Star Cosmetics commenting on his Instagram page do seem to support him still and are looking past all of the things that he's done, which is exactly what Morphe was doing last week. So they, they literally made this decision in a week. A week. I, I'm just, I'm so confused what happened. I'm, so, I just, I don't even know what he's gonna say. I don't even know when he's gonna say it. At the end of the day though, a lot of people were saying, at least on Twitter, that they weren't going to be purchasing any Morphe cosmetics because they support Jeffree Star. And this is a move for the brand. Whoop. because all the creators that they work with or collaborate with or sell their products, it definitely reflects off of their brand what they are doing as well. So for them to have continued to work with Jeffrey is almost like them saying that they are continuing to excuse his behavior and they condone that behavior. And by not dropping him, that really sends a message that they're okay with him doing that. So the fact that they're finally coming out and dropping him honestly is making a lot of people very happy because they're finally taking a stand. It's just crazy that a week ago they were saying something very different and now they're finally willing to drop him. Like that's just a very quick turnaround when he's been problematic for so long. And right now when it's completely silent, this is happening. So this whole thing is just absolutely shocking. My jaw is on the floor, the floor, literally the floor right now because I can't believe Morphe has done this. I mean, wow, they're truly making room for some big creators to come in and sell some makeup with them because I know that Jeffrey made them a lot of money. So let me know what you guys think about this. Why you think that they came to this decision within a week? This is insane, but I'm definitely curious to know what you guys have to say about this. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.